All right. So this is the Teensy 3.0, which you see back there. Hopefully, autofocus doesn't seem to want to cooperate. But uh, behind it, there's a uh, ADXL 335 accelerometer. So it's analog output. Behind that, there's a BMP085 barometric pressure sensor, a TMP102 I2C temperature sensor, and the humidity sensor I haven't wired up yet. That's a series of audio switches. Driven off that 74HCT595 shift register, and above the shift register, I'm sorry, probably to the right of the shift register as the viewer is going to see it, is a, uh, uh, an analog device's digital potentiometer. So for volume control. Uh, that's a GPS. And that, that little chip right there is a 74LS138. So it's doing the demultiplexing for all of those SPI devices. Here, right in the foreground, that's not going to come out, but there are two stacked 74595 shift registers stacked on top of one another. Uh, and a couple of transistors that are doing the output for this panel. All of those LEDs, uh, each one of those four LEDs is bicolor, and then the three LEDs on the buttons are driven off of 12 volt, which is what the transistors were for. It's a rotary encoder and a toggle switch, and uh, several SPI seven-segment LED displays. Just pick those up off a of spark phone. I forget what the model number was, but they're now permanently glued to this panel. Uh, additionally, there's a uh, CDS cell down here that is monitoring. Oops, I have to actually turn that display on. That is monitoring the brightness level. So as it goes into darkness, the brightness level goes up, and as it's re-exposed to light, I've got to change the hysteresis on it to make it more responsive. Brightness level goes down. Uh, the green display there is the current temperature. If I reach my hand back here and touch the temperature sensor. It will update probably once every five seconds or so. Yep, there it goes. It's rising now. Yep. Uh, the blue display is currently giving button output, so all of these things are, are tied into tied into buttons. Uh, there's an analog pin and there's a lookup table that actually gets, that's the index of the lookup table that does all these analog values. More on that later, but this entire thing, there's output from the barometric pressure sensor. Uh, I'll break that later. Noisy ground. Um, that is the inclination and the pitch. Uh, I'm sorry, the the pitch is uh, the pitch is the green display on the left. Uh, roll is the blue display on the on the right. So. All of this is being driven off of a real-time real-time scheduler that, that's being serviced by a single interrupt from, uh, from the Teensy. So the performance is pretty good. Uh, full display refresh looks like it costs about 60 milliseconds, or I'm sorry, 60 microseconds. Uh, I haven't timed it all out yet, but that's my, from the delay loop that I put in there. I'm guessing that's what it is. That's raw accelerometer output that's rebased to zero rather than being unsigned, I've made it signed. Um, so over here, I can send commands to it. So the last commands I sent were, uh, let me see if, uh, yeah, that can't be helped, I'm afraid. <clears throat> last commands I sent were to enable debug, calibrate the down vector, calibrate the forward vector. And from that, it was that's how that's how these values are arrived at. I have to have first of all a reference of what down is, and then you know which direction forward is in order for for pitch to make any sense. Uh, otherwise, they're just theta and phi off of the off of the down vector on the sphere. So that that's uh, I'll go into that in more detail when I'm finished. But this PHP program over here is lists all of the possible commands that I've implemented. Oops. So I'm talking to it with, through a through a COM port, uh, dev tty amc zero, I believe. But each one of these is is the command, 
and then the integer associated with it and optionally the number of bytes it requires as user input so this PHP program doesn't do much it just runs through you know my commands and and gets what I told it to do does some parsing on the bytes and then sends it as raw bytes to this panel so let's see what can I do I am going to take it off of that so I'm going to read orientation let's go over here So reading the orientation should come up to something close to that. That's in degrees, by the way, so that's that should be 0.1 degrees pitch, almost zero roll. And indeed, that's what I get, 0.7 degrees pitch, 0.02 roll. So there's a lot of debug data in my output that isn't going to be there. It should return simple strings.